video uh, uh, it was the movement control order so we had almost zero activity uh, anyway uh, this is a new video which I'm putting out uh, because we are going testing Monday and Tuesday we're actually headed to Tedco right now where they are preparing the new AMG GT3 and we'll have our first shakedown next week um, so I'm here together with Juno who is joining me and we're both excited to actually check out the new car busy preparing for our shakedown Monday, Tuesday next week here at Sepang. Um, it's great to be able to see the car um, get on its feet and uh, ready to drive. I think uh, the MCO or the COVID-19 has put a halt to a lot of our racing activities. We haven't even started our season yet, uh, which is due. Round one is due in September. So, um, you know, it, it feels good to be able to head out on track and um, at least start off with a test session before we actually start the season for 2020. Let's take a lap of Sepang Circuit in Legacy Racing Team's AMG GT3 EVO. So as we head down to Turn 1, we're in 5th uh, at WOT. We hit the brakes at about 100 to uh, maybe between a 90 and 100 mark, um, allowing the ABS to kick in, uh, giving you maximum braking efficiency. And uh, maneuver round 1 and 2, and then flat out again down turn 3 heading to turn 4 so yeah again about a hundred meter mark we'll be hitting the brakes for turn 4 so the car has got a bit of understeer a bit too much understeer to my liking um, so I think it's something simple enough for us to dial out um, car is pretty quick in 5 uh, but again you know so we're experiencing a bit too much uh, understeer at high speed uh, 7 and 8 as you can see so this I was trying to uh, maximize my entry so that I don't wash out early uh, hence why car was a bit sideways and if you come round 9 as you can see the amount of understeer uh, that's I mean generally I mean basically the car 
is a front engine uh, rear wheel drive vehicle um, so the tendency is to actually have a bit more understeer versus the mid engine cars but then again I think we should be able to dial out a bit more so that uh, the car is a bit more balanced and you see around turn 14 as well so you know deep into the corner um, actually has a bit too much understeer to my liking but all in all, I think the car handles uh, really well out of the box. Uh, we, made, we made some minor changes, but, uh, you know, it's very, very minimal. So yeah, here's a lap of Sepang in uh, the AMG GT3. Hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, so a great day out. Uh, we're going to try and digest as much information as we can. I'm actually looking forward to the event. We should be having a few more test sessions so that we can uh, further understand the car so we have some baseline settings moving forward to the race weekend in September.